And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. The 30-second AK Blade episode is here. If you were holding your breath, you can stop. If you've been holding your breath since last Friday, well... On a happier note, we are doing a variety of new knives this week from different companies such as Civivi, uh, Topps, Kershaw, Ferrum Forge Knife Works, and Roik. Good. A wide variety. I thought you didn't like a lot of choices. Mm, well, I think variety is growing on me. I mean, mm, is it? it is the spice of life. I thought that was oregano. It was oregano, Dave. It was $10 worth of oregano. <laughs> the first knife up is a new one from Civivi. Mm -hmm. It can help you like see into the future. Uh, no, no, it cannot. However, it's going to feel like you've stepped into the future because of how amazingly awesome it is. I mean, it is the Civivi Insight. Did you get our wordplay there? Yes, yes, they did. Okay. As you can see, it comes in a wide variety of colors. We've got the blue, the ebony, the red, the blue, the wood, and my favorite, the green. You lost me back at wide. Wide and ebony. I started thinking about my mother-in-law. Oh, yeah. Shuddered. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get started. This folder is approximately eight, eight and a half inches long, while the D2 steel blade is only 3.7 inches with a satin finish, flat grind, and a hardness of about 59 to 61. The handle, as we showed you, comes in a variety of colors, mm -hmm. which is uh, compiled of layered G10 and carbon fiber. Yes, there's also a few that this one is just plain G10, the ebony one, and then this one, it says wood, but I think it's just supposed to look like wood, so that one's G10 too. Um, this Liner Locks liners are stainless steel, along with the screws, pivot cap, and pocket clip. The backspacer is G10. Uh, this knife also operates on a stainless steel ball bearing system, which allows for easy opening. I'd like uh, some insight mm -hmm. into how Civivi comes up with not only the names of their knives, but the designs of them as well. I mean, this one is so simplistic and yet complex at the same time because of uh, the mixed yeah. materials that on make the up the handle. Yeah, I think the handle is probably my favorite part of <clears> this knife. I mean, most people, meaning like normal non AKers, no, non knife enthusiasts, have no idea what the difference is between like Stag, Bone, G10, Micarta, Carbon Fiber, Zytel. I mean, there's so many different ones. Titanium. You mean like my mother in law? Wow. No idea. And they, they just see the handle. True. Most people who are just looking for an everyday work knife to replace their old one mm -hmm. aren't really going to go into the nitty gritty of the knife itself. It they should. Matches. <clears throat> <laughs> At the very least, they aren't going to waste time in deciphering how the material of one knife's handle is different and or superior to uh, I another. I completely agree. And you know what? You know what? I think... I'm not used to hearing that. Yeah, My would... mother-in-law never completely agrees. She doesn't even partially agree. Okay. Well, I partially agree with you. Only because I agree with what you said. Not if she said that every once in a while. Do you know, not only does she live with me, but her cat does. All 15 pounds oh, of like that cats. black beast, and it hisses at me every single time <sighs> oh, I that, walk by. Is that why you said Ebony earlier? Is, yeah. it, is that its name? Yeah, it's its name. <laughs> oh my God. And I found that cat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Should have left it. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. Um, and you know what? I think we'll have to do a quick, like, short video. Well, you will have to do a quick, short video on the different hand materials, just so you guys can have a video uh, of. Trying to, when you're trying to figure out what type of knife you want to buy, you'll know what you want because you'll know what the differences are. Like a review. All right, so let's get back to the table then. Sure thing. Uh, the Civivi Insight is just one of Civivi's <clears throat> great contributions to the knife world, and this contribution only weighs 4.62 ounces, uh, a pretty, pretty light for a mixed material handle on the knife here. It's also got a flipper stud and some minimal blade jimping here on the back. And for only $79.50 on AtlanticKnife.com. There it is. You can have some insight too. Wow. Okay, our next knife is the Topps Devil's Claw. 
You know, I have something coming for you in a few minutes that I didn't tell you about. I'll tell you afterwards. Oh. It is hilarious. Oh, yeah. Okay. We want to interrupt this real quick and tell you that part of Jules' wardrobe is brought to you by Cato. <laughs> what? I'll tell you later. The, the oh viewers will get God. it. All right. Okay. Something so good, you knew there had to be a sequel. Like The Matrix Reloaded. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. The Godfather Part Two. There are just so many good ones. There are also so many bad ones. Son of the Mask. Jaws the Revenge. Police Academy 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Wow. Friday after the next. You know, the one after... Friday. Oh wow, can't be Caddyshack too. Yeah, that might have that might have been the worst sequel there. And oh my gosh. <laughs> and there's the, there's some that probably should never have been made, such as Twilight. <laughs> I feel like we're opening it. It's going over his battle wounds. You know, you shouldn't even bring it up. My wife was on a bender for like four years after the first movie came out. Oh, no. She actually tried to play it the other day. The one where Bella has the baby. Oh, my. And guess who had to go and watch every single one of those with her? I mean, they even broke the last one into two movies. <laughs> oh, my. Like, one wasn't prolong my suffering. I don't know what's worse, watching Breaking Dawn Part 1 in a theater full of mostly, I won't say what kind of women, who, by the way, are very aggressive when it comes to using your phone while that little glitter man is talking. Or trying to watch a football game on TV while my mother-in-law complains about her foot ailments while eating anchovies. Who eats anchovies anymore? And yes, you heard me correctly. Oh my gosh. Anchovies. Out of the can. Like right I mean, out of the can while you're like Great there? Depression Day when she... Hey, I got some anchovies and I saved some lint. Never let her cook you dinner. Oh you eat the stuff you made six weeks ago. Is this spinach? I'm not even sure. It's melted. Can spinach melt? I don't know. Can it can? Oh my gosh. Are you okay? I'm. I'm sorry. I mean, her eating anchovies. That must really stink up the room. Not I'm, as much as she does. Oh wow. Just to add all your problems. But let's not prolong our viewers' suffering either. Let's move on to the knife. But before. We'd like to ask you to set off those notifications by ringing that bell and subscribing to our, see how I included, Jewel? Wow, Our thanks. channel, not, there's no I in Atlantic Knife. That way you're never too far from reviews, news, and videos you've grown so fond of. Okay, the tops, Devil Claw 2. A very scary carry, and just in time for Halloween. Joel, Halloween? Mm -hmm. It's almost two months away. Hey, hey, I start thinking about Halloween as soon as the stores bring out those skeletons and the pumpkins, okay? Which is probably how they like it. Now, if it's June and they're bringing out the stuff, no. No, no, no. It's June, okay? No Halloween stuff. Now, end of August, yes. Somebody's been to the Walmart. <laughs> well, as Joel said, this is a scary carry. But I think that's mostly due to the name and the blade shape, which mm -hmm. is reminiscent of Corambits. I was thinking that when I looked at it, I was kind of thinking like a hawkbill blade and the like Corambit style. I mean, the original design has the same blade shape and materials and thickness. The main difference between the original and this one is that the handle is just a little longer, you know, a little extended to, you know, better fit the user's hand, the full hand, not just part. I guess the other one is a little farther, so it kind of hangs off. Mm -hmm. Um, they added mm. a ring to the pommel, too, to make it look more like a karambit, as if the blade wasn't enough. Um, it just, this model, it just allows the user with more options that just aren't available with the original version. Well, the knife was designed to be a deep conceal knife mm -hmm. with a handle that is you know, short on purpose for concealment in almost any yeah. outfit. <laughs> However, it is a bit of a trade-off. Mm -hmm. The original is easier to conceal. But the handle shorter, you know. Yeah. You know, men mostly, I'm sorry, but men would mostly use this knife. And our hands are a little bigger. I look awesome so. with this knife. Yeah, you do. I'll give you that. However, you can get much more out of the new model. So you have to decide which is more important to you. True. Uh, that's, yep. Uh, the top stubble claw is quite obviously a fixed blade. Um, with a 3.13 inch, 1095 black traction coated blade. Uh, which comes in about 
56, 58 on the hardness scale and has a cutting edge of about 2.75 inches. Uh, the handle on this version is 4 inches long and it's made of black and blue G10. Very nice. Yes. This knife also comes with a black Kydex sheath mm -hmm. with a beta loop for additional carrying options. Yeah. This is one of the most sturdy fixed blades that you know we have. Don't forget those top survival whistles. Besides the cold steel bowies. Whoop. Yeah. Everybody has the whistle. Exactly. Everybody. I always say if you have to use a whistle, you made a mistake. <laughs> you can't. Yes, it is. And it weighs only 5.6 ounces out of the sheath. So a bit on the heavier side, but think about what you're getting for only 94. 84. Oh. 9484 on AtlanticKnife.com. I would hold up the sign, but I dropped it earlier. Mm, yes. He's got lower back pain so I just didn't want to reach all the way down over. there and you know, use my feet like oh, I can't get it you know oh, okay it's like my mother-in-law does could you get my lotion she oh, just says can you get my grabber can you get my grabber yeah you I like need you my... know her <laughs> <laughs> okay and there's also some large jimping I'll show you guys on here so you can you see, see that it. talent wow some large jimping on the back of the blade you all thought I forgot but no I just saved the best for last never forget the jimping Never. The next knife we've grown fond of oh, is the know. new Kershaw Reverb XL, which also reminds me of my mother-in-law. Wow. Okay. I have to say before I go over the specs, I love this knife. Yes. I know I've said that before. I have a lot of loves, but this one is, is definitely one I would add to the collection. It's a bit disheartening that it doesn't come in green. But I can live because of the sleek and thin design, uh, and also because of the built-in carabiner clip. Cheer that click. Just a click. I'm not sure how I feel about the carabiner clip. I mean, I feel like there are pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, Gerber Fast. Mm -hmm. I don't really use it. I don't like them black stickers on the side of the handle. Um, Those are G10 inlays. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look like stuff. Unbelievable. I mean, it can get caught on things. It is one of the best-selling, most popular knives we and any other company has. So. It is, but I don't like it. That's okay. You don't have to like what I like. I don't like it. For instance, like you it. can come over my house, take my mother-in-law away because you like her so much. I will I not like, be offended. I just like the cookie she brings in sometimes, okay? Well, she can cook some things, but I'll tell you what. Yeah, you said yesterday you were enjoying that peach pie she made. It was the best freaking great peach pie. You got more of the peach pie? You can make some more now. peach Hold pie? On I had to, I'm going I had home to and eat some peach pie. I had to peach pie like 47 times. Buy the $6 in peaches. You spent $6 on peaches? Yeah, roadside stand. Oh. Got to have fresh ones. Fresh. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. But tell you want meatloaf? Chicken and dumplings, seven nights in a row. <laughs> you know what you get on the eighth night? Leftover chicken and dumplings. You had the bisquick. Does that matter? Nope. Four containers of Bisquick back in the corner. She'd go to the store and buy more and tell you how she had to waste money on Bisquick. I mean, you know, you come in a big pot. Wow. We know who's like, not, you know, supporting Bisquick. Ever doing a commercial for I them? I didn't say I didn't like Bisquick. I just it. ain't eat it seven days. I'm starting to dislike all of it. Man, I tell you pie. what. You can make hot dogs again. Tell you know what those you things what? are made of, don't you? I have heard what they're made of, yes. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, back to the carabiner clip. You know, you do, you don't. Yes, no. I'm not a carabiner clip guy. All right. How about that? That's what we should have went with. Right. I should be that guy where you talk and say something, and I go, no. You just make And you talk something, and I go, mm -mm. That's kind of what you, you guys do anyway. So. Pretty much. All right, let's do the specs. <laughs> Before he tries to convince his mother in law that Dancing with the Stars isn't the best show in the world. It's a lost cause. It's that light fight challenge. Oh, mm -hmm. the light fight. Yeah, she loves that thing. I gotcha. Okay. It takes some light First, and wrap them around her neck. That's real nice. First. She'll glow. Are you going you gonna to let Blinky me? Blinky lights. Okay, okay, okay. Stick it. This knife is 7.25 <laughs> inches over. He's about to commit murder. Candle You're all going to be witnesses. It's 7.25 inches overall with a 8CR13 MOV steel drop point blade. That's 3 inches. Uh, with a thickness of 0 0.11. Uh, the blade also has a weather protecting titanium carbon nitrate coating on the blade and a hollow grind. This handle is mm -hmm. blue G10 and black 
carbon fiber inlay on mm -hmm. the front scale while the back and frame are stainless steel. It's also got a deep thumb groove for opening and a single position extra deep carry pocket clip for a right tip up. Uh, it's also got a safety locking mechanism that prevents accidental blade slips, uh, the built-in carabiner as I mentioned, and uh, a lanyard hole for just other carry travel options. Lastly, it's also this got some, EDC... Wait, no, no, it's got some barrel spacers too. It does. Yeah. EDC weighs only 2.31 ounce mm -hmm. and has the hidden Kershaw logo ooh, ooh. on both the pocket clip, pocket clip. and I'll move it for you. Yes. inside the frame lock. Yes. So, Joel, they were thinking of you. And I thank them for that. I bet you I know who designed that. I didn't ask. I didn't check. I'll I don't call. Think I don't think... You don't think it was Andrew? No, I don't think it was Andrew. And there was a reverb before. Exactly. But somebody put the new touch to it. I I, I hope it's him, because he did a good job on the decibel, so... I don't know. I think it's I like him. that We'll one. see. And the mixtape. Oh, Sorry. that's right. Yeah. You guys can have your own Kershaw Reverb XL for only 31 comma... I'm going to put a comma. Dot 84. It's 3184 on AtlanticKnife.com. Well, following the open axe is the Jerk Ferrum like Forge Knife Works Lackey. Mm -hmm. And don't even say it. I wasn't even going to say you were my lackey. Yeah. Just, okay. Just funny how you got it in there in your response. Mm, you're right. That is funny. Uh, this fixed blade is 6.31 inches overall. Uh, has a black G10 handle and a 2.89 D2 steel blade. And it comes with a Kydex sheath. Hold on. We kept it in a nice little baggie, but you can always take it out. Just right there. Um, with soft loops, you know, for belts and things like that. And the black bead chain, you know, for carrying around your neck or attaching to your pack. Just other ways to carry. You know, mm -hmm. next week. We won't be leaving anything in the pack because we're going to be doing, well, probably. Hopefully. Yes. Axis. We're going to get Joel to throw a few. I think this one is... Sounds uh, dangerous. It's one of the fixed blades that becomes your everyday use. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a tough exterior. Uh, the feel, the shape are perfectly. I like it. Especially for my hand. Mm -hmm. I really think it's um, one fixed blade probably everyone should have. I mean, not to mention it's extremely good price. I have to agree with your statement, not you. This Ferrum Forge Lackey Knife is great for everyday tough work cutting jobs and for only $59.84 from AtlantaKnife.com. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone will have to agree. With the statement, not you. Wow. Okay, it also has, you know, a lanyard hole right there. Lanyard hole. Yeah, we don't have a little... Little thing for that, but there's jimping. You so. always got. I was wondering if you were point out the jimping. I was going to point out the jimping. I no. never forget the jimping. This is what we got next. Yes, this is our final knife. I actually get touch one. Look, look at there. Yeah, I almost That's dropped it. The Royke D191B. It's a frame lock. Oh. Just yeah. wanted to get my favorite characteristic out of the way. Oh, okay. The blade, which is made of 8CR 13 MOV steel. It's almost four inches long mm -hmm. with very minimal spine jimping. It is. It's very We always get minimal. that in there. It's very... On the back of the blade. This knife is similar to the Kershaw because of the handle. Not the Kershaw from earlier, but the Cryo or the well, Hinderer. Well, there is the Kershaw from earlier because it, too, Oh, has... it, that's right. It had it also. Well, that yeah. one reminds us of the Kershaw. Okay. Uh, Cryo and the Hinderer mm -hmm. that are frame locks with the stainless steel back, along with the pocket clip and the frame lock. Yep, uh, it's also got the black G10 front here. Uh, the knife's blade is deployed through the use of the minor jimped out flipper stud, uh, all to allow quick one hand opening, which I can demonstrate. Demonstrate. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Okay. This carry is 8.94 inches overall and weighs 4.27 ounces. So. Light and tight. Wow. Is this one your favorite for this week? No. Tops. Wow, that was fascinating. Thank you, C. However, I would like to mention that my favorite was, if you didn't already know, was the Kershaw Reverb XL. However, I'd like to know about you AKers. What was your favorite this week? Leave comments down below. 
Also, if you like the idea of us doing a quick video on the differences between handle materials, let us know too down below in the comments section. And as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. If you liked what you saw, don't be scared to share the video and our channel with friends, family, if you want to get rid of the in-laws. Play it loudly as you can on your computer or TV. Hook up some extra speakers. Uh, get some surround sound going. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might be able to find one of those the rental places. In the back. Maybe we'll rent you some speakers. Extra set. Rent I'll, a I'll, I'll find the banana clips and we'll hook that sucker up. <laughs> I'll even make a one hour video of my voice saying AtlanticKnife.com over and over. I mean, you could put it on loop so you guys can play it like a torture tape. Look it out real mm. quick. Take her up on that. Hearing her voice is like torture. Not listening. Not listening. And with that, I'm C, sure. and this is, say your name. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Say your name, elf. <laughs> Remember what, the happy Can elf that way? I'm all over here. Let me see it for a second. This is Joel. Let me see, let me see it for a second. Just torturing us, Joel. And we are signing off. <laughs>